Hey everyone, I'm Mine, and welcome to the 75th episode of the Woo Crew Podcast. I'm here, as always, with my co-host, Matthew, and we're here to talk about all things going on in the Lego world this week. How are you doing today, Matthew? Uh, today, as of this being posted, is my birthday. It is Matthew's birthday, and there's going to be a special birthday surprise for Matthew in a moment. Um, okay. Real quick, though, I want to say hello to all the possible new viewers watching, because earlier today, as of this being posted, my first early Monkey Kid reviews are going up, and early sets usually bring in at least a few new viewers so if you're new welcome um we, we talk about lego here on this podcast if, if you're not new welcome as well yes if you're not new welcome as well speaking of people who are not new thank you to all the youtube members who help to support the channel and a very special thank you to pyro whipper tier and above who are garfield tumbleweed and suntan if you the viewer want to become a youtube member go click the join button next to the subscribe button you get cool perks costs you a little bit of money but it's fun <laughs> i'm a youtube matthew is a youtube member Pay you um, a dollar every month. <laughs> you do pay me a dollar every month, so you can use little emojis in the live streams we do together. Yeah, the live streams we do so often. That's, okay, well, this birthday gift, um, this birthday gift costs more than a dollar, so. Did it? Yeah. All right. All right, you ready for this, Matthew? I don't know. <laughs> you ready for this, Matthew? Where am I looking? Should I just be looking? Oh, over? hold on. Let me text your parents. I'll tell them to bring it in. What? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, Matthew. Um, uh, I'm going to need you to go to the... Uh, hold on. Give it a moment. Give it a moment. Give it a moment. Give it a moment. It's taking, taking a little long. Oh, okay. Go to the MindRL uh, Instagram account. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Wait, it's loading, but I saw like the thumbnail. This is a very special <laughs> birthday message <laughs> to the Matthew from me, Tony Zarid, and your friend Bricks by Mind. <laughs> Matthew, uh, Instagram user at Bricks by Mind wants to wish you a very happy birthday. And as do I, Tony Zara, and someone else does that I spoke to earlier. That's right, my good friend, the Big Chunkhead, who said, have a happy birthday, but please do not invite any woke snowflakes to your birthday party because they're so cringe. Anyway, happy birthday, the Matthew from at Bricks by Mind. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best possible <laughs> birthday present you could have got. I knew you would love it. I I saw, I discovered a few months ago that he had a cameo, and I was like, this is what I'm getting Matthew for his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I, I don't I don't think you could have done something better. Uh, I know. I, I told you you'd love it. <laughs> were you expecting that? Was that anywhere no. in the realm of what you were expecting? Holy sh Wow. <laughs> That's that, 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 that exists. That does exist now. And I got him to say the Matthew, not just Matthew. Alright, so um happy birthday, Matthew. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, everyone in the comments, wish Matthew a happy birthday. <laughs> that is that is genuinely so funny. <laughs> when I I got it, so I did it like two weeks ago. And when I got it, I just bur I like could not stop laughing, and I showed it to Emma, and she found it so funny. <sighs> He's my favorite memer. I know, I know that. <laughs> uh, all right, do you want to move on to the like actual? That's genuinely one of the most thoughtful birthday gifts I've ever gotten. Like, <laughs> wow. We talked about the big chungus. You talked about the woke snowflakes. You know, did, all you, your... did you tell him what to mention, or is it? Just I, I, like... I I just I, I essentially said like yeah, throw in some stuff about what like I said essentially said like anything from your videos. Like he loves your stuff, so <laughs> he made up the whole bi big chungus wishes you a happy birthday. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Of course. <laughs> you want to talk about some Lego now? 
Yeah, I, I'm like genuinely at a loss for words, though. That is like so good. <laughs> All right, so also this week, um, <laughs> we, we had some Lego Monkey Kid sets revealed. I also have uh, most of them. All but one of them. I forget that the Monkey Kid sets haven't been revealed yet because we've seen them for a while. Yeah, I've had these for two weeks at this point. I got them like the weekend before Thanksgiving. It was, it was, it's been a while, yeah. Yeah, um, and there's something else I have that I can't even talk about yet at all, but that'll, that should be soon. Uh, is that? It's just one, one thing. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's what I thought. Uh, there's also something else which is at my house, but I can't open it yet, but. <laughs> I, you know what it is. Oh, is it? I, I don't know which one. Well, there's only one other thing I... It's something I can't talk about yet. There's two other things that are coming. Oh, oh yeah, no, it's not the... It's an it's an early review offer thing. Okay, 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 I don't know. Yeah, that's at my house right now, but I, oh. uh... Yeah. <laughs> Please leave that in. Oh, I will. <laughs> yeah, um... Anyway, and also, so everyone knows, I'm saying it now, it's not Ninjago. I did not get Ninjago this time. Other people will probably have it. I do not. Or maybe he did? No, I don't. I will say next. People are going to get excited. I don't have Ninjago this time. Don't ask me. Ask Lego and Bass. Don't ask them, please. Don't harass them. But <laughs> I don't know why I didn't get it. If you, um, if you harass somebody, harass me. Um, they, they guess they had an issue internally and did not have me down for Ninjago. But that should be rectified in the future. But I will not be getting this Ninjago wave. Oh well, I still appreciate the stuff they have given me. Just I know a lot of you guys are here for Ninjago. That one will not be coming. Anyway, because speaking of the stuff they have given you, some of it's pretretty sick. Yeah, no. Speaking of some, yeah, some of it's pretty sick, such as these Monkey Kid sets that are definitely really good prices. Um, yeah. Uh, okay. Let's not talk about the prices while we're discussing these, just because I think that these are genuinely good sets. Besides the price. Yeah. I think we can mention the price, too, but let's talk about the set first. No, we should mention the price, but let's talk about the sets first. Yeah. All right, do we want to go smallest to biggest or biggest to smallest? Uh, smallest to biggest, because, yeah. All right, so, um, yeah, I, I, I can talk about it. This is cool that it was revealed um, and the embargo was in one week, because sometimes we get in a mode where they've been revealed and I have them, but then we try to talk about them on the podcast, I'm like, I don't know how to talk about these without it sounding like a review, because I actually know what these look like built, but I can actually talk about these, so... Yes. I can just give, these are essentially mini early reviews for the podcast viewers, and then you'll see my full review when I actually post them. But anyway, yeah, Monkey Kid Staff Creations is the smallest one. Um, um, where, where are we getting pictures from? Lego.com. Okay, okay. Yeah. Alright. Alright, so, Monkey Kid Staff Creations. These, and these are January 1st, right? Yes, January 1st. Okay. And I, I believe they're like December 26th if you're in... The a a a a APAC region? I don't know what, what all is considered APAC, but... I think that's China. Asia, Pacific, and I don't know what AC is. is all, I don't know if Australia is a part of that, but if it is, Australia also gets these December Let's be realistic, it probably isn't. <laughs> okay, well, if you're in the APAC region, whatever that entails, these are December 26th instead of January 1st. The Monkey Kids Staff Creations. What are your thoughts on this one? Monkey Kid Stack Creation. I'm, I'm scrolling. Okay, here we go. Um, yeah, I think the set is cool, but it's very expensive at 35 Okay, no, forget the price. It's cool. I think it's a cool concept for a set. But I think some of the base builds look a little bare bones. Um, I know you have this, so you're... Yeah, uh, you're also, for the, in case any, it was unclear, because at least it was unclear to me when I first got it, this is three separate builds. You, get, you build all of these. Okay, it's not... Okay. It's not like built one. They can so they, they have parts that are interchangeable on all of them, but they are three separate builds. Okay, well I think that makes this a little bit better. Yes, yeah, no, definitely. When I when I originally got it, I thought it was just one and it it was a little disappointing, but no, it is three separate ones. But the each like the the each wing of the plane comes off and you could attach them to the car, the um arms and the mech the, uh, yeah, the arms and the legs of the mech come off and you can attach those to anything. So it's creative. I do like it. Um, I think the car is the worst of these three. The mech is the best, but Lego's gotten mechs down pretty well, except when they do it $40 for Marvel. 
Yeah, they also so they have a couple cool new pieces. This blue, this teal part that you can see it on the car, but that's the connection system to take apart all the different parts and reconnect them together. Yeah, that's cool. Um, that's a really cool new piece. It's got two bars on it. Um, yeah, I, um, I like that one. The mech knees and arms are also new. Oh, are they? Yeah. Oh shoot! That's, I the, that. that's actually are they bendable? No. Oh. They're just permanently bent. <laughs> that's very strange. Yeah, they're weird. Even having them in hand, like I don't, I don't know how I feel. I so I full disclosure, I've not filmed my review of this one or the next one yet, so I haven't like sat down and like collected my thoughts on this one, but. Yeah, I don't know how I is feel. This... I... Sorry. Go ahead. Is the Monkey Kid in this set exclusive? Yes, but only really the torso. The Monkey Kid in this set. Yeah. Um, and then the Monkey King is not, but this is by far the cheapest way to get Monkey King. Yep. Um, so yeah, it's it's cute. This would be a great $25 to $30 set. <laughs> yeah, um, well, let's just move on. And yeah, here, the, you can see there's, I have this image up on screen for the viewers, that you can see this is how everything disconnects, and you can rearrange all these parts however you want. You essentially take one body piece and connect anything to each of the sides. So there's That's some cool. fun stuff you can do with it. I'll show different configurations when I film my review, but yeah, it's it's creative, and it fits the whole like lore of what Monkey Kid staff is, so. Yeah, um, moving on, uh, we have Scott's Car 2. <laughs> yeah we have maze dragon car um sure we can't talk about the price <laughs> yeah let's, let's talk about the price uh, the price on this I, I, this is the most atrocious in terms of price the other ones are a little bad but this one is pretty bad like just price per part alone it's far from the worst i've ever seen but telling you with this thing in hand it's not fifty dollars yeah it doesn't look fifty dollars it's not fifty dollars it's and the mini like some like sometimes I can excuse some stuff. Monkey Kid, like the minifigures are especially good, and like I do like these minifigures, but the the villains don't even have a leg printing. Um, yeah. Monkey Kid has arm printing, but arm printing doesn't justify jacking the price up like an extra like fifteen dollars. Agreed. Yeah. No, this set is this set should have been like thirty or forty. This is probably my least favorite of the wave. That being said, it's still pretty solid. It reminds me a lot of the jet from this year, but the thing is, the jet is the jet's just better. So, um, I I don't like when side builds are better than the main build, and I think the trike for the macaque is cooler here than the actual car. Macaque. <laughs> macaque. <laughs> um. <laughs> awesome sauce. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, that caught me off guard. <laughs> Yeah, the tr the trike is good. I will say that I have I have that. The new like fire piece that's on the rings and on the bike is super cool too. Yeah. Um. Also, this set comes with the new piece color. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a thing. So it's May May's torso as well as you can see a little bit on the trim of the car. Yep. Uh, and that's the entire use of the that color in this entire wave. That's really weird. I'm sure so, it's going to be used in some other themes. Yeah, but... no, it's definitely going to be used. Uh, but I don't even know if it's going to be, like, it may be only this for January. Like, I don't know if any other January themes are going to use it. Yeah, I have, I have no idea, but, yeah, it's, it's fine for what it is, but I would, rec like, if you guys are interested in this, I'd recommend just get the Jet from last year instead, because that's a far better set, and it's the same exact price. Yeah. Um, yeah, this set does not really pique my interest at all. So yeah. I, I it, really it, don't that being said, it is good, but it's just yeah. There's better options out there. The next set, though, I I might get this one. Not day one, but like this is one I I do want to get. Do you know how to pronounce this character's name, Matthew? Which character? The the one in the name of the set. Um. Is this like a trip question? Yeah, no, I, I just because I had to look up pronunciations and like practice pronouncing it over and over again for my review, and I just want to know if you can pronounce it correctly on the first try. Um, I don't know with the apostrophe e, but is it like Shange? Yeah, it's so it's the way it's all described is the the so it's Chong and then the e is pronounced like the e in her, but without the r sound. And it's, I, I'm not even going to try. I did it in my review. Stay tuned for my review if you want to see me try to pronounce it, but... It's like, Shanggu? Yeah, yes, that's yeah. exactly it. 
Uh, I oh, had yeah. a lot of trouble pronouncing that, and that's just because I, I am an English speaker who only speaks English, and that's a sound that doesn't really get used that often in I, English. I know really basic Chinese, and I know some of the sounds. So okay, yeah, no, that is yeah. So you got you got it correct, but <laughs> okay. So to my knowledge, get... I uh, I could be wrong if that's correct too, but that's from what I heard. That's closer than probably what I did. How would you do? That, no, that's I did. I tried my best to do that, but okay. I. I don't know. Last year when I pronounced macaque wrong in my review, everybody roasted me in the comments, so I'm very nervous just, about posting this review. Uh, I, I, well, that one, I said McKay. Oh. <laughs> because it has Q-U-E in it, I was pronouncing it like K in Spanish, like K-Pasa. Yep. It's Q-U-E. So, but it, it's, it's K, it's, it's Q-U-E like in unique in Macay. Yeah. Which. Um, yeah. I mean, Anyway, just China. like I said. <laughs> yeah, regardless, uh, we don't need to discuss languages here. So, I just um, want to have that discussion here. So, when you guys see my review and see my horrible pronunciation, it hears me talk about how it was tough for me, but I tried. <laughs> um, All right, like I said. Um, this, this set is really cool. It reminds me a lot of Diva's Mech from Overwatch. Oh, I can see that, yeah. Um, and uh, the Moon Goddess character, she is a live streamer. I don't know if you saw that, but the set description mentions she that's what her thing is. What? She's a live streamer. She, she streams she look, on Twitch. She looks like one. <laughs> also, um, I don't know if you can see it in the official pictures, but you can see it on the set. But So she's got like her little stream set up. Um, that's like the little blue thing. Yeah, you definitely can't see it in the picture. That's like the little blue thing. Or the little like the thing with the four blue feet and then like the screens. Yep. That's her little streaming setup. And it shows her top donators and Pigsy is her top donator. So <laughs> Is that so, Pigsy? <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> Pigsy, come on come on, bro. <laughs> Pigsy you're a simp. I found that really funny. But yeah, I what? the buddy mech is fantastic. The you can't really see it super well from the pictures, but um if you look at that thing like with a three dimensional view, the um it looks just like a rabbit, and it's so impressive that they captured it so well. But like it's yeah, very bunny shaped. This set is cool. I think this is one of the best monkey kid sets, and I love the color scheme on this yeah, one. Um I love the space stuff in general. I think Space fits Monkey Kid a lot better than it fits Ninjago. Yes. Um, the ra oh, the carrot rocket's really cool too. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even. Okay, that's what that is. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Are they villains? Like. I can't. I think they're like. More not villains, but more just antagonists, right? They because they they're collecting these rings to stop the the baddie. Um, okay. And I get. I assume the blue ring is on the moon. Um, so if I had to guess, she's probably just mad about them taking the ring, but she'll probably end up becoming an ally, if that's my TV show theory. Um, okay. This set's cool, and I want it, so... Yeah, no, it's it's very good. Um, can we talk about the price now? <laughs> yeah, uh, $70 doesn't feel too unfair. I don't know, it's... having it in hand, it doesn't feel like... The... the... I guess the, the Bunny Mac is like a solid 40 to 50 alone. But the rest doesn't feel like it makes up the rest of the play. Okay. I, I don't know. I don't feel like this set's too unfair. No, it's not. It's far from the worst, but it definitely could be better. For 60, this would be... Woo! That'd be a good Lego uh, set right there. Well, moving on to Evil uh, evil Monkey. E evil Macaque's Mech? Evil McHugh? McKay. That's what I said. McKay. McKay. Um, okay, moving on to Evil Mechanics <laughs> Mech. This one's good. I like this one a lot. Yeah, this set's cool. Um, there's a new, uh, there's a new ball joint connection. Not ball yes. joint, a new joint connection. Sorry, my, my Lego.com pictures are, like, not loading at all. I don't know what's up with that, but... Hmm. I mean, I got bricks that probably has them, but that would load faster. Yeah, it, those don't have to, like, load separately, so... Yeah. Lego.com is far from the best website. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's a new joint system on this guy, which it feels very stable from what I've experienced. Um, huh. The dual wielding of the staff can be pretty cool. It's a little finicky at times, but it works pretty well. Um, and then the minifigures in the set kind of slap. The new Monkey Kid, which is also in the smaller car, but you should probably just get him here because he's better here, um, is great. He has arm printing. 
Um, the new Mei is great, and you get her with all the different rings on this set. Um, yep. You get the new macaque, which is incredible. Um, and minifigure scale okay. Sandy. Oh, yeah, now I can see this. Oh, this set's really cool looking. Yeah, no, for sure. Oh, also, also, the Ninjago, like, weapons set comes in the set in gunmetal gray. Oh, no way. Yeah. No way. Yeah. Like, you can see it on the whole... Dark uh, Saber? I guess... I, I think black would be better for Dark Saber, but... But Gunmetal Gray would work. Yeah. Yeah, but you can see it's used, like, on the horns of the, the mech and on the, the <gasps> like, the Monkey Clones villain. The Monkey that Clones weapon. Me, that makes me very upset. <laughs> Why? I, I want that set in black so badly. <laughs> Gun Metal Gray is like a step closer though, and it like it's, th- it's a step in the right direction because there's so many reasons I want it in black though, for custom Stormlight and Mistborn stuff, for custom Star Wars stuff, just because black swords look cool. Like yeah. there are so many reasons that they need to do that. The Gun Metal Gray definitely looks great though. Like that's that, yeah. that that alone is a huge show off this set. Also, I think you mentioned it already, but I was looking for pictures, but the main minifigure here looks really good. Yeah, no, especially, like, with all the things on her back, that figure looks incredible. Um, yeah, and this is the only other set to use that new color, and that's because it's on the May figure. Yeah. Um, what do you think um, of the new macaque? It looks really cool. It looks yeah. really cool. And he's got the like, six ears, which I know is a part of the original legend that the original minifigure didn't have. Um, this is one I would, like, genuinely either bricklink or bricks and pieces. Yeah, and also, round of applause, it's a good price. It's a good price. Would you say this one's worth picking up? Yeah, yeah, for sure. This would probably I like be my... the one I... This might, It's one of my favorites. It, it's hard to compare, because, like, obviously, the city is obviously the best one, but I think I'd recommend this over the city. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think... I. I think that's good. I, I definitely recommend the Bone Demon over this, but... Yeah. I bet I guess because you don't have any Monkey Kid at all. This is pretty solid because you get, like, three of the main characters. You get Macaque. Yeah, I feel like I'm, I'd be better off with this one just because it has, like... I don't know. My big thing with Bone Demon is it doesn't really have that much, like... it. It's very much just Bone Demon. Yeah. It's not bad, but, like... Yeah. And then this one, I guess, is cheaper, too. Yeah, I... But, yeah, good pr- like, physically, feels like $80, piece-wise, is worth $80. Tons of minifigures, tons of, like, rare or exclusive, mini- like, Sandy's exclusive macaque, this is the cheapest set you get them in. Uh, MK and May are both really good, you get all the collectibles in this set. Th- other than the city, this is probably the best value set of the way, for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, this one, pretty much nothing but good things to say about it, but... Yeah, uh, the next one, I do not have this in hand, so my guess is it does not feel like it's worth a hundred dollars because it doesn't look like it will. But uh, this, yeah, it's the... this sounds so cool. I really like how this looks. Yeah, it's. I don't. I go back and forth on whether or not I feel like this one's. I. I, feel like, I... I think in my review I said I don't think it is, but uh, yeah, it's it's definitely like ninety would have been like perfect, but eighty. 80 this looks like good. Yeah, this looks like an eighty dollars set to me. Yeah. I mean, the the like, Inferno ring is surprisingly big, because they do kind of put it off in the background and in the distance in all these pictures. That It is very big. Yeah. But that being said, it's still not... It doesn't feel like 100. Um, who's I the, think part of that might just be because, like, the, the macaque speeder is probably a big portion of the budget, and then it's, like, nothing. Not a big portion, but, like, that that probably adds, like, a good $10 at least. I like the throne a lot. That, yeah, the, you throne, can, the, the throne's super cool. But, Garmadon in that throne and it was That was my exact thought. It reminded me of, like, Garmadon Stark Fortress. Um, who is the guy with the staff? That is... Here, can you pronounce this character's name? <laughs> Where is... Oh. Uh, Nitsa? N- Nerja is how what I read, but I okay. could be wrong. No, no, no that, that, that sounds very proper. Nerja. <laughs> Nerja. That's what I read, but again... Could be completely wrong on that. You're, I also you're... have already filmed my review of this one, so if that's wrong, it's I'm still going to say it in the review. I've I watched like Chinese tea content and street content on YouTube, and that is a very common sound in Chinese, so that sounds right. Okay, cool, cool. Um, anyway, yeah. So he uh he's a really really cool minifigure. He's got this awesome new cape piece that like drapes down to yeah, both that, sides. Really good. Uh, Macat comes in here again. You also get uh. Lady Bone Demon here, which it's cool to yep. see she's back. Um, 
And, oh, and this version of Monkey Kid's crazy. Yeah, no, this, so is, this cool. is pretty good. Oh, whoa, yeah, no. wait. That Monkey Kid is sick. Yeah, it's got arm printing, too. Freak, this might be the one I want to get. Yeah, no, it is good. It's... It, it's just so unique. That's, like, that's Yeah, that's... Like the, and, yeah, so the... I guess you can't really tell for the pictures, but the... The thing in the center of the wheel stays balanced while the wheel itself, like, works as, like, a proper tire. Does it stand up? What do you mean? Like, can it stand up on its Yeah, own? yeah. That's cool. Dude, you can... Str like, I spun it in my video. Like, huh. standing... It, it keeps its balance really well. And also, cool. it's... Another thing that's, like, not shown off really well here, but the... The fire coming out of the back looks so cool. Like, yeah, this is this is a tempting set. Even it, not it is, it fan. is a very good one. Um, the minifigure selection is phenomenal, and yeah. the build's good enough. Yeah, the price. The only thing is the price. Though we do have to remember, Monkey Kid is now on Amazon, so these things may go twenty percent off at some. Point. Yeah, if this is ever twenty percent off for eighty bucks, I will. I will one hundred percent buy this. Because like the uh, what the Flower Fruit Mountain this weekend for. Black Friday went uh, to one thirty, I think, which is forty dollars off. Yeah. So if, that, if something similar happens to these sets one day, like then for sure, yeah, that's a that's a time to pick it up. Um. um anyways, moving on. Moving on. So next, move to the one I, the only one I don't have. Um. I will say though, we've talked about this before, but having this picture, I like it a lot more. Seeing it, it like it, it's exactly a really cool the same problem. here. I did not love it from. The leaks, or not the leaks, but the the reveal we got previously. This um, this this almost feels like something I build as like a mock. Like this reminds yeah. me, like this is cool. Like this is really cool. The trans red windows, I think, especially tied together. I think those look awesome. I agree. Um, and the space versions of all the characters are great. I really want. I want Robot Mo. He looks so funny. That's the cat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't have yeah. time to say about this one because. It has been revealed before. Yeah. Um, and um, then but, finally, we have Mini Ninjago City, Mini Monkey Kid City. Yeah, so this one, the review for this one will be up before this podcast. So people will have already seen my thoughts, but yeah, it's, I mean, it's it's essentially, it's, so the, the vi my overall consensus after filming my review was that it, oh wait, sorry. Uh, my overall consensus after filming my review was that it is like a blend between Ninjago City and like a playset for younger kids. It's kind of the middle ground between the two. Yeah, and it it looks really good. Yeah, so all the buildings are open from the back, so it makes it a lot easier to get figures in than Ninjago City. Yeah. Um, the monorail is so much fun. I've never got like I know the roller coaster pieces have been around for a while, but this is the biggest roller coaster I've ever gotten, and it's mm -hmm. so much fun. It's just so much fun. Um, tons of classic Lego references too. I going through this set, I had to look up so much stuff. But <laughs> no, this set's really cool looking. And best of all, it comes with a trans clear lightsaber blade. Yes, it does. Which apparently is actually not new for this set. I discovered that too. What else is it in? It was in the Super Mario sixty four block. Oh, huh, okay. But this is the second set. It's coming. So yeah, looks like it's just going to be a more commonplace piece from now on. Which good. The, that's a great part. <laughs> yeah. No, I, yeah. Th this set looks really cool. Yeah, for sure. It's oh. it's an excellent set, but I mean, it's and great value too. All the Monkey Kid sets that are stupid expensive always have great values. Yeah. But then the the smaller sets you always have to argue like, I mean, meh. I could see it maybe being that much, maybe. No, I feel like Monkey Kid value like they feel better value the more expensive they are. Yeah. No, for sure. Like, um, but, I just, I'm saying like, this just because there's always going to be people who come into my comments and be like, you're, you're, you're wrong about the value, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Like, City of Lanterns is very clearly worth the price that it is. For most, uh, everything else except for the mech, you kind of have to argue for it to be the price that it is. Mm -hmm. Whatever, I'm not, I've talked about Monkey Kid value so many times, but I do, I do feel like this wave is worse. Like, last wave, the, the three sets i feel like all those were very solid in terms of yeah. being worth the money being good sets and i think these sets have maintained that they're all pretty good sets but have kind of lost the lost the plot when it comes to the value yeah it is what it is i i will it is what it is i think in terms of the biggest set flower fruit, fruit mountain is cooler to me than this one um i think i would agree with you there yeah i i haven't had this long enough to 
form a definitive opinion, but of like the three big sets, this one, the Flower Fruit Mountain, and the Boat, this is probably my least favorite still. Yeah. Because just because I, I think if you don't have Ninjago, I think I get. I think this is really good for younger kids with a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. Well, I feel if like you're a younger kid with. Richer parents, I think this is a great set for you. Because Ninjago City could be a bit much for kids, I think, because it is a lot more display heavy. Yeah. Well, this is way more clearly intended for play, but it has a lot of the elements of Ninjago City. Um, But yeah. because I ha have Ninjago City, I do like this less, because I, I just prefer the way Ninjago City does. So, overall thoughts on this wave? It's it's solid. It's not bad. I'd, I'd give it like a B. Yeah, I think that's fair. I I like I like pretty much all the sets. There's only only a few where I'm like, wow, this is amazing. But overall, I'm pretty happy with it, and I appreciate like sending it to me. <laughs> yeah, I kind of would have appreciated like a more if they sent it to me too. But yeah, you can't have uh, everything. Anyway, quick plug. Uh, this was all like off the top of my head, just discussing it in a casual sense. But if you want to hear my more in depth and like more thought out opinions on these sets, stay tuned for all my reviews, which uh. Either are up now or coming soon. So, yeah. Over the next uh, few days. Soon for his reviews of the sets that I didn't get. True. All right. What else we got in Lego, Lego World this week? <laughs> True. What else we got? <laughs> uh, um, we have a new Ninjago set rumored. Yeah, but we don't know anything about it, so there's not much to say. Yeah. So, it's just should mention it from Stone Wars is the source here. Uh, Jay and Nia's Evo Racing Car. Um, I don't know what this because I'm trying to think because the the rumor is that the Evo sets are remakes of older sets, but not like Legacy, but kind of like Legacy. But when have Jay and Nia ever had a racing car? The thing about what Jay and Nia's Evo racing car could be, if these are just like half Legacy, half not, um, I can think of a time they had a racing car together. Actually, this is a remake of Scott's car. <laughs> I thought that when you said that too, and I don't think it is. <laughs> no, it's. I mean, <laughs> it would be really funny. <laughs> it's not gonna be, but yeah. Nia, Nia did. Nia and Jay did drive that together, right? Well, no, Nia, I, Nia drove it. I think it just, was just her, but I don't know. That was a racing car, but like what? A, so I, this is probably just a new set. So maybe Evo isn't what we thought Evo was. I don't know. Uh, we'll see when these things are revealed. We'll see what this yeah. is, if this is real. Maybe Stone Wars is just off their off their brain and it's just not real. Who knows? We'll find out soon enough. Anyway, want to talk about Star Wars? Yeah, I do! <laughs> so, we had two Star Wars rumors this week. And then we had two phases of one of the Star Wars rumors. And don't talk about phases with the LEGO Star Wars community because they get really angry. But um, So the first first phase we got this rumor is like, hey, we've got two minifigure sets so these are like the minifigure sets that like the ninjago one that came with clutch powers or like the marvel one that came with uh the venom uh venom spider ham right those I are never... the lego store minifigure okay. sets yeah um so we had a rumor that we're going to be getting two star wars ones and one is going to be a hoth rebel trooper set right yep and the other one was going to be a clone trooper set and then everyone was like yeah two army builders two mini battle packs yeah, and then, so that was phase one of the rumor, and then today, phase two of the rumor is that it wasn't phase two, it was phase one. <laughs> phase two of the rumor was like, actually, it's not a clone trooper battle pack, it's one normal clone trooper, C Captain Rex, and Commander Cody. <laughs> Which, um, for those of you like me who are not Clone Wars fans, these are the minifigures that the LEGO Star Wars fans have been asking for 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 like the last like two years like they got the fire first battle pack they're like okay now we want uh, captain rex and commander cody so like it was like okay here's captain rex and commander cody but now like a star wars fans are like um lego that's not what we said we wanted phase two captain rex and commander cody who for the, for the uninitiated they have funny help they're like kind of their their helmets look more like stormtrooper helmets but not all the way they're just like slightly closer to stormtrooper helmets um and that's the difference, and now they're mad because LEGO never listens to their fans. Can I unleash my anger here? Go, go ahead, Matthew. <laughs> I do this about once every three months or so. LEGO Star Wars fans are the most freaking annoying people on the face of the planet. Shut the... 
Shut, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> shut up. It's, it's not worth getting angry about. This is good. This is still good. There's like getting phase one does not mean we'll never get phase two. We're getting two really desirable phase one minifigures in a $15 set. Okay, real quick, I'm gonna go to Brick. Like, how? Because these these figures have existed before. Yes, they're. Pr I think they're both thirty to forty dollars. Yeah, they were, I'm like, gonna go check how much they are. So, nine versions. Yeah. Like, if you are upset about this, you are the problem with the the, the, the Lego. Cheapest Commander yeah. Cody is eighteen dollars, and there's also a thirty-five dollar version. Okay. Okay. All right. Now let's go to Captain Rex. Okay. Captain Rex, the. Oh my God. Dude, the cheapest is Captain Rex is $64. What are you yeah. complaining okay. about? Not everybody has the $64 minifigure. I don't have I don't have either of those minifigures. Because when those came out, I was a stupid kid and I like chewed them up and like I don't even know what I did with them. I don't I don't know where the parts are anymore. But if you are that freaking heated about it, go to avfigures.com, spend ten dollars and make a custom one. Literally right here. This costs eight dollars. If you've that if you're that heated about this, do that. You want a Captain Rex too? There. Sixteen dollars, the same price. You got two of them. There you go. Phase two. Shut up. If you are angry about this, shut up up <laughs> it is so annoying it is so toxic it doesn't matter it's still good it isn't exactly what you wanted but on your birthday if you don't get exactly what you want do you throw a temper tantrum no you say thank you you say thank you and you move on <laughs> but the thing, okay i didn't realize it was a 65 dollar minifigure that they're getting and complaining about yes but and it's going to be better than the original. Yeah, because the originals had, like, the crappy, like, Clone Wars proportions that they used to do. They had the crappy Clone Wars proportions, the crappy Clone Wars faces, and the really low-res detail. These are going to be realistic-style Phase 1 figures. They're going to have good faces. They're going to have well-detailed helmets. They might even have arm printing. I don't know. And you're going to get not. both of them for $15. I'm that if you want to get both clone. And another clone. Yeah, if you want to get both of the old ones, it's $88. So... Cheapest. $88 yes. cheapest. So and We don't know what's coming next summer. We don't even know everything that's coming the first half of the year. You don't know we're not getting these figures. <laughs> that's... <laughs> oh my god. That's so funny. Like, I... And it's, it's completely ignoring the fact we're also getting a $15 set with what's assumed to be three generic Hoth, like, Rebel Troopers to go with right. the really good Hoth trooper battle like the uh snow trooper battle pack like stop right. and i think it's important to mention there's two sides of people angry about this there's the one side is like we didn't want phase one we wanted phase two and then there's the other side of we didn't want named characters we wanted a battle pack which <laughs> so i i'm closer to the second camp than the first but the other thing is i already have 40 phase one clone troopers and that's like some of that's not even through intentional army building like I think you just it's important to mention two minifigure sets are not usually battle packs. They've never been battle packs. The like, only one I can think of is the Oni one, but that, like... That was... The Harry Potter one is kind of... Um, but you... Um, and then I will say the Marvel one with the two AIM soldiers is in some ways a battle pack because... In, no, not really, though. Like, no... I guarantee... Then no one army built AIM soldiers. It wasn't... Yeah. If it, it Also... If you just bought every set from the AIM Soldiers era, you'd get, like, 16 of them, so... I think to be classified a battle pack, like, I don't know. It, I, I don't... I wouldn't consider that But, okay, so even even besides that, though, you want a clone battle pack? There's there's literally one on shelves right now. 501st Battle Pack, clone battle pack, with Phase 2 clone troopers that you wanted. Okay, there's that. Then in 2022, just that we know about, we're getting a Hawk Troopers battle pack... A snow troopers battle pack and a dark troopers battle pack. Yeah, all within three months. <laughs> but why did they re-release the sixty-four dollar figure? I wanted a new figure. Except it's not gonna be. Re it's gonna be a new figure. It's gonna be better than the old one, and it's gonna be. And so are they gonna get mad when they release a phase two Captain Rex as well? Because they we got one in twenty thirteen, even though it goes for one hundred thirty dollars. Also, yeah, I think that's another important part to mention is the last. Phase 1 Captain Rex was 2011, okay? So there, That's I, over 10 years ago. The, when this comes out, that will be 11 years ago. There's going to be many kids who did not get that. Many people considering that it, And the newer Captain Rex is actually the more expensive one. That one's $85. So, 
There's going to be lots of people who never got that one, so this is going to be really good for them. Uh, how about Commander Cody? Um, Commander what, Cody's not coming since 2011 either. Yep, 2011. 2008 and 2011, just like Captain Rex. So, yeah, considering that we've not gotten these Captain characters, Rex and not counting the, the weird one from Rebels, considering we've also, not gotten these Sorry, Captain Rex Phase 1 only came in three sets. One of them was 80 or $90. One of them was 40 and I don't remember what the third one was, but I know... I. Him, he might have actually only been in two now that I think about it. But um, Commander Cody also came in a $30 set and a $120 set. So neither of these figures were, like, super accessible. No. So I, I don't see what they're complaining about. <laughs> I really don't. It's it's so frustrating, man. It's so frustrating. It's the... You know the... That that SpongeBob meme of like the kid with the ice cream and he's like, I don't want ice cream. And he goes, Then why did you ask for it? That's yes. like the Star Wars fans. <laughs> yes. Um, and then something else I've seen people say about this is Lego doesn't listen to the fans. Now, okay, if that were true, would we have a five oh first battle pack? No. If that were true, would we have a UCS gunship? Which, by the way, no one. No one bought. No one bought the UCS gunship. Would we have that if, if Lego didn't listen to the fans? No. You know what happens when Lego listens to the fans? They make shitty Clone Wars sets that no one buys. <laughs> and for the record, Matthew is saying this as a Clone Wars fan. I'm saying this as a Clone Wars fan with 75 501st Troopers on my bed. This cost over $500. <laughs> so... So you can't say, oh, you're not a real... I am a real Clone Wars fan. But shut up. Clone Wars sets are never that good. <laughs> like, oh my god. It's so annoying. And guys, when you're commenting, remember that it's Matthew's birthday and you don't want to be mean. No, no, come at me. I will argue with you in the comments. <laughs> if you disagree with me on this, you are wrong. What I am saying is fact... And you're an idiot if you disagree. I love, well, the, have... I love the they don't listen to the fans narrative. Literally every Lego set reveal recently has been spanned with, okay, where's Commander Cody? They, now they're giving you Commander Cody. You're like, oh, no, not the Commander Cody I wanted. I already had that one from uh, 11 years ago. And I would just like to note, again, I have like a ton of Lego Star Wars sets. I do not have a Phase 1 Commander Cody or a Phase 1 Captain Rex, custom or otherwise. Yeah. So, like, these these are cool minifigures for me. I can't wait to get them. Because, you know, that Commander Cody that came in the UCS gunship, that just didn't cut it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you think that's a good place to end this podcast? I think so. <laughs> All right, thank you, everybody, for watching this week's episode of the Woo Crew Podcast. If you enjoy, please press like, subscribe if you're new. Uh, we do these every Wednesday for Sensei Wu Wednesday. And stay tuned for more Monkey Kid reviews. There was one earlier today. Going to be at least one tomorrow. And then more coming over in the next few days. So stay tuned um, for all that. All right, Matthew, so I, 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 I like to fake it for the podcast, but, you know, I am a very big Clone Wars fan, and I actually am a bit offended we did not get Phase 17 Commander Scrimblow in this battle pack. It's okay. I was really excited for Commander Scrimblow, and I just, I, I feel like Lego just doesn't Shut. listen. I feel Shut. like Lego just doesn't listen, okay? Okay. I've been spamming their comment sections, okay, when the ATAT -AT was revealed. When the Queer Eye set was revealed, okay? Every single time the Lego, Lego sets revealed, I'm like, where is Commander Scrimblow? Give me Commander... You gave us this before Commander Scrimblow? What's up with that? I don't get it, man.